All I can say is Jaime Camille. He is everywhere. You can't not see him. He's on Jane and the Virgin, Schmigadoon, uh, Acapulco on Apple Plus. Pero sigo siendo el rey. Está bien. Todo bien, man. Thank you so much. Gracias. Yeah, well, yeah. Keep it busy, man. I mean, having two kids is very expensive. And thank God I don't have to buy uh, diapers nor formula. But <laughs> private schools are around the corner. So we have to keep working or sell kidneys, basically. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> yeah. But, you you know, you're so busy and that's, that's, that's a great thing. So now I think that the power of, you know, willingness to, to, to do the, the things that you have to do. I mean, you've really been working hard uh, and, and it shows now you've got a little bit of the power, a little bit of uh, inertia behind you to, to do some amazing projects. Yeah, thank God, man. I've been very privileged. I've, I'm very lucky that people want to work with me. Like when we got the call uh, from Steven Soderbergh to do Kimi, I was very, very, you know, I was ecstatic. Imagine working with, with Steven was just a, a dream. And of course, Shumigadun, such a beautiful project, and Jane the Virgin, and now uh, doing this uh, recurring role in Acapulco season three, which I don't know when is going to air, honestly. Maybe not, not before six months. Yeah. But uh, good, man. And I have and I have a, a game show that I sold to CBS. Loteria. Based on the Loteria, Loteria Loca. Yes, El yes. Alacran. El La Chalupa. Exactly. Uh, my so, favorite is El Borracho. El Borracho. Claro. Bueno, some of the cars are no longer politically correct, so we're going to have to switch a little bit, but uh, but I'm super excited for that as well. And another project with Roku. I mean, you know, good, good things. As you know, opportunities are flying, and you know, and you decide you want to jump and grab them, but if you jump and grab them, you have to nourish them and develop them. Like people that are like, oh, I'm waiting. I'm sitting waiting for my opportunity. Uh, that's not how it works. No, no. But you're so good in everything. That's I think I think your calling oh, card you. is whatever you do, you do it very well, and it, and the audience really engages with you. Porque qué? But what do you think? I, I want to speak Spanish to you. I think I, think I see. Yo creo. I think it is because I do everything well with a lot of passion. I do everything passionately, and I approach any project that I'm doing like it was my last. I feel the same. Sigmund Freud said that men should feel the same satisfaction they felt when they had a new toy mm. in their job. And I, I'm very privileged to, 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 to say that because a lot of people don't, right? Well, uh, so I'm, I'm very, very lucky to feel that excitement of, of, of a little kid with a new toy in every single project I do. And I approach everything with passion and shamelessly. And I'll just, and I just go like full force. And I, I think that's, that's, you know, and that's also a choice in life. You have to, you know, you have to, uh, que ponerle buena cara a la vida. You know, I wake up every morning and I, 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 I give thanks to God for the blessing that I have to do exactly what I want to do and live the life I want to live. And because exactly. I worked hard at it. And I think that you're right. Oh, yeah. It's really a privilege to be able to do it and do it well and, and represent yeah. la raza un poquito también. A hundred percent, a hundred percent siempre. Uh, I just asked you, we have a, a big, you, you know, there's, there's a, I mean, there's a long way to go, right? When it comes to accurate and, and, and fair representation, but every single little step we take, it's getting us closer. Yeah, it is. Now, yeah. uh, you, you're getting uh, dressed up to get on a motorcycle, to do something good for, for people, and, and you've teamed up, let's call, let's see, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, and you've teamed <laughs> up with Movember. Tell me about that. Why did you get involved? Why did you think it was important? I love it. Well, first of all, I truly believe that uh, by accident, I, I joined the ride last year, uh -huh. and I'm like, what is this? So I started to learn more about it, the movement. You know, Movember, as you know, is the, the biggest charity in the world when it comes to men's mental health and prostate and testicular cancer research. Mm -hmm. And they have raised over, I don't know, one point, one point something billion dollars. And just the collaboration with the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride has raised uh, $37 million. Wow. So 12 years ago, this thing started to, you know, Know, to change the perception of a motorcyclist like we don't all have to look like the hell's angels right so uh mark Hawa, my now friend mark Hawa, started this 12 years ago just it was you know let's let's dress dapper let's not rev the engines outside of restaurants let's not wake up kids in their strollers let's just 
give a positive image about a motorcyclist, right? Not, not, not a bad image. Yes. And that was 12 years ago. And 10 years ago, Movember jumped on board and decided to attach the, the, the men's mental health uh, aspect to the ride. And it has been very successful. It has raised over $37 million. I truly believe that my dad is no longer with us. I lost my dad in December 2020. And I think that one of the reasons he's no longer with us is because he was suffering from a deep, deep depression. And men, we're not supposed to cry, to feel, to talk about these issues. We're supposed to men up and we're yeah. supposed to power through them and deal with them. And you have so many examples of things that are, you know, men that are no longer with us, unfortunately, Anthony Bourdain, uh, Robin Williams, but then you have uh, men acting in a very erratic way, like, like even I would venture to say Will Smith at the Oscars, like I I'm sure there's something there, you know, there, there's something there. We, we shouldn't judge so harshly. Uh, there's something there a and, you know, men's mental health, it's, it's, it's 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 a it's a real issue that we have to tackle so the fact that uh, this year the distinguished gentleman's ride invited me to be a global ambassador for the ride uh, i'll be riding in los angeles it's uh, i feel very honored it's, it's a privilege to be honest i've been riding motorcycles since i'm five years old like i've oh, really? been on top of on top of a bike all my life <laughs> uh but now to do it for a cause, it's, it's very special and it's very beautiful. We go out, we have police escort, of course, we do it very safely. Oh, yeah. And we're That's just it. riding. Yeah, right, kids take pictures and we pose for them. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful experience to bring awareness to a, to a beautiful and especially much, much needed cause. Well, you're a great example to men who really need to, you know, search them, their souls. And if they won't do it for themselves, do it for those who love you, uh, those people who care about you yeah. and want you to be around, you know, so take care yeah. of your health and take care of your mental health as well. And, and let's reach out to our brothers, right? If you see someone struggling or not being himself or something, hey, is everything all right? You know, we really have to reach out and we really have to to ask if, if, if everything is fine, especially if we see something going on there, we have to reach out and, and men like Justin Baldoni, my 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 friend and, and castmate on Jane the Virgin, he has a book out uh, called um, Men Enough, which is undefining, ma undefining masculinity. Right. Not even redefining it. We have to undefine masculinity, right? Like, what is it to be a man? Like, are we supposed not to hug our kids because we want to make them soft? <laughs> like, all these stupidities, you know, all these things that are there in the universe, we have to uh, fight against those um, esas, eh, estigmas, no? Yeah. E esas... Stigma, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it very well said and very well done, and I appreciate so much what you're doing there. And Thanks. we'll put on the screen right here uh, where you, people can get in touch with the ride yes. and the organizations that they want the people to... Gentlemen's, gentlemensride.com slash Camille. Camille slash Camille. And listen, Jaime, uh, if you ever need a newscaster in any of your movies or shows, be sure to give me a call. Uh, it, I think, yes. I think, lo puedo hacer en español, or I can do it in English. <laughs> oh, my God. English is so polite, though. Oh, but <laughs> I, I was taught by Espanol is more passionate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jaime exactly. Camille, congratulations on all your success, and thanks so much for being with us. It's been a pleasure. Let's do oh, a half man. hour next time. Uh, whenever you want, of course, man. And I really, really appreciate your time and help, you know, to get the word out there. You're, you're so you're so kind. Thank you so much. Best to you. Thanks so much. Gracias. You too. Gracias, hermano. Thank you.